In 2017, this Uber driver in San Francisco stood up to Travis Kalanick and just told him as it is. He didn't like uh, the back chat or, or, or bringing up this painful point, right? It still exists today. But he made that wrong right later because this driver said, hey, I lost $97,000 because of you. Many, many other drivers have done the same. And the Darakosh Shawi, there were no corrections. There was no coming back and said, how can we make the wrongs right? So I would prefer Travis back as, as, as big as a dick he is, as many people don't like him. But he knew how to pay the drivers. $7,000 because of you. I bankrupt because of you. Yes, yes, yes. You keep changing every day. What you, I, keep, you keep changing every day. What have I changed about black? Huh? What have you I changed, changed the about? whole business. What? what? You dropped the prices. On, on black? Yes, you did. Bullshit. We started with $20. Bullshit. We started with $20. You know How much is the mile now? 275? You know what? What? Some people don't like to take responsibility for I their shit. Responsibility. They blame everything. But why you are you going to get an email out? for town card? Good luck. Good luck to you too. But I know you don't get it go far. Good. He stuck it to him, man. He said, look, he brought the arguments. And when the arguments, Travis knew those arguments were right. He tried to bail out of the con. Said, oh, you're just blaming everyone else. No, he confronted him in 2017 with the facts. Those facts remain to this very day. I wish Derek Oshoshawi would get into the back of my car so I could have that same conversation, right? But Derek Oshoshawi shies away from social media and that he doesn't allow comments, you know that, right? And he doesn't engage with drivers. Travis Kalanick at least took the argument up and then later, a few days later, made all the wrongs right with this driver, right? Because it became a big public nightmare for Travis Kalanick and Uber. But the money came back. That 97 grand came back. They met with him. They paid him, right? So here, here's the moral of the story. Speak up, right? Confront the companies with the truth. They don't like hearing the truth. The truth in 2023 is, ladies and gentlemen, you are underpaid and you're not being kept safe, right? Be like this driver in 2007 today, in 2023. Thank you.